your abdomen and belly. Chest. Your whole torso. Your shoulders and arms. Hands. Your neck. your face, your head, and then slowly scan back down from your crown to your toes. And as you move your awareness, inviting relaxation, into your body, inviting a feeling of rest and restfulness. And then feel your whole body, all of your cells glimmering, active and restful at the same time. And I'm going to invite you on a little guided journey. I'd like you to imagine a door or a portal. And whatever comes to mind as I say those words is perfect. And just notice what that door or portal or threshold looks like. And on the other side of that door or portal, which is currently closed or you're on the other side of, is something that you've been dreaming about. And again, whatever comes up when I say those words is the perfect thing. So you're going to open the door and step through the doorway or threshold or portal into your dreams. And just notice what it feels like to be there. What does it look like? What is on the other side of this door? And try to feel with all of your senses what it is like to be in this space with your dreams. And then you hear a voice say, it's time. And it's time for you to gather these dream images and energy and to bring it back with you to the other side of the door, to the waking world, to take action with them. So you gather 
either words or images or feelings that you can bring back with you to the other side of the door. And once you have gathered, you take these dreams and words and images and feelings back to the door. And when you are ready, you step back across to the other side of the door with these dreams and words and images. If proper use may cause temporary ear and And as you begin to close the door, you thank your dream world or whatever it brought to you today. And then you can slowly start to bring your awareness back to the other side of this door. And then to our collective space together, feeling your body and your breath. Slowly returning to the Zoom screen, our shared space. And taking these words and images with us, I will pass it over to Eileen, who's going to open some space for us to play with them. Thank you. Yeah, so without even really need, needing to orient to the <clears throat> computer, feel free to just turn to your journal um, or wherever you can maybe do some drawing or writing and we're going to give some space for just kind of working with what came through. Um, so what from that exploration feels like it's grabbed you in a way and yeah, we'll just have maybe 10 ish minutes to do some writing, drawing, if you want to just like sit in your energy, that's welcome too. So just tune in and whatever kind of space you want to be in for a little bit to just keep <clears throat> pulling through um, whatever imagery you got. Um, so I'll put on some just like light music and we'll check in in about 10. Seeing whatever this moment of writing is. And yeah, now we're going to um, maybe just take, let's all take three deep breaths together. So if you wanna just breathe in, let it out. Again, <clears throat> one final breath in and really exhale whatever needs to come out. Okay, so hopefully you feel present to something within you, some dream that's rooted in there. And um, we wanted to give space to dialogue with just one other person. Um, can feel really empowering and activating to speak. Um, even if you don't have clarity, like exactly what this looks like or what's coming through or why um, or how to just still like be able to to put it into words and voice it and then um let that just like land and as the listener i invite you to really just be present to what's being shared and not feel the need to like dialogue too much um but really just like absorb and 
um, listen what they're sharing and then we can switch. Um, so you'll have probably nine or 10 minutes in each room. So I guess I'll, I'll give a little note when there's like four minutes in so you can switch and then you'll have a few minutes to just talk more freely in your breakouts. And if anyone is not interested in going into a breakout, just let me know. I know um, May is unable to participate for certain reasons. Um, so if there's anyone else, just let me know. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'll do. Unpause the recording. Okay. Well, welcome back, everyone. Um, we have about 10 minutes left in the session. And so wanted to first offer space if anyone wants to share um, first about like what came through and anyone like feeling connected to some clarity that they're going to be bringing to life. Um, Okay, great. <clears throat> so yeah, I'd love to hear if anyone feels inspired to share or just reflecting. You could also reflect on the process and how this was for you. <laughs> I know Nicholas time does. Yeah, I, I met with Aretha and we, it was just a perfect like duality, perfect like contrast. Um, I didn't like read from the notebook where I described what I picture in my dreams. Typically, I kind of wrote about my patterns and Aretha discussed her, you know, the recent dreams that she's been having. And I started by explaining to her how dreary <laughs> and angst riddled my dreams can be and how they could be brooding and disturbing. And, and, and really just kind of sad because sometimes I, I you know, a lot of relatives from beyond visit me in my dreams. They guide me and I'm usually in transit and not sure where I'm going. And then that in contrast with Aretha's dreams, which are full of promise and opportunity. And she's been dreaming of money and how money comes in different ways and how you can play with money and how you can thrive with money and how you can, you know, juggle money. And there's just so much opportunity and generativity in her dreams, whereas mine tend to kind of go more toward the past and look for solutions where there don't seem to be any. <laughs> so it was a really interesting contrast. I was really grateful to be to be paired with her just to see that other way of you know mm -hmm. dreams manifesting for people. It was really remarkable. So thank you for this exercise. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes like seeing, uh, or like, yeah, I've been very inspired by hearing how others relate to their dreamscapes <laughs> and and just feeling, yeah, like alivened by the possibilities and then also trusting that over time, right? Like our dream worlds are going to evolve and there's, you know, and maybe we're not getting something or maybe that'll shift and yeah, such mystery there. Anyone have a dream image that they, or like something that came through in the guided meditation? Um, I could say a few words. Mm -hmm. um, so thanks to this exercise, uh, you were, uh, when you said like, um, we were going through a door, uh, I kind of imagined uh, a huge door, a wooden one, like I, like I used to see in my own culture, I come from Turkey and like um, embellished doors and the historical architecture is quite common here. And it, it made me feel home as well. Uh, and then I, I went into this chamber and this chamber, I, I, I was talking about it with Nikolaus, but we didn't really have time. So uh, <laughs> um, like, so, in this chamber, I found uh, friends, friends that I don't actually know. I don't know why, but 
I have seen four people that I thought they were my friends. Uh, the 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 part that I kind of it was interesting for me to discover about myself was that it was a, a a secret chamber, and I was feeling very happy and very gratified about it that it was a secret chamber where we were, uh, you know. Uh, it, it's okay for me to you know share and be in a community, but kind of the thing that we were there only five people and we had our own uh, you know authentic connection among each other and it was a, it, it was about a, about a literary group uh, so that was very interesting for me to find out that I was very uh, happy with the fact that uh, I didn't have to uh, like I didn't have to uh, take it out from that room and everything was in that room yeah that was it <laughs> thanks for this exercise mm. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for sharing. And yeah, that noticing feels potent. The, the like idea that it was a secret, just like feeling like it's hitting one of your longings or something or something within you. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, I've dreamed of making art about doorways actually, um, like in waking world, but maybe in dream world. Uh, I wanted to say earlier, and I, I forgot, but it feels worth naming that uh, dreams are like so beyond like right and wrong, right? There's not like rights and like, you know, or like sometimes I think I can get like into like assessment mode about like the types of dreams that are showing up um, or like dream imagery. And um, I was thinking of the, the Rumi quote, if anyone knows uh, something like, Ouch beyond uh beyond <laughs> ideas of right and wrong there is a field i'll meet you there and and just this idea of like dreams just occupying this space where there's no you know it's just like beyond even conceptualizing of right and wrong um and so yeah definitely like i hope all of us feel like plenty of spaciousness around welcoming whatever's arriving when we enter into this type of connection with ourselves Anyone want to share anything? Last uh, images, beautiful. Yeah, this is what showed up. Uh, and I wrote this because when I was sitting with myself, like when we, we were talking about the door, it was uh, many doors that I was opening and closing and opening and closing and opening and closing. And then when I sat with myself and I was like, how come I went through so many doors? And this is what showed up. Dreams merging into one another, thought forms coming together, creative chaos at its best. For each of us is a color streak in the circle of life. Mm -hmm. So I felt like, wow, yeah, I think that is where I was going, you know, with all those doors opening and closing. And uh, if everybody's okay, then I would like to sing a song mm -hmm. with this uh, thing. Like when you were saying it about the doors, I could literally listen to the song in my head. <laughs> so I'd like to sing it for all of you. And if you'd like, you can close your eyes. Or if you'd like to keep it open, you can keep it open. It's up to you. And just enjoy the song and what it brings for all of you. <clears throat> doors closing, doors opening, doors closing, doors I'm opening. I am safe, it's only change. I am safe, it's only change. Doors closing, doors opening, doors closing, doors I'm opening. I am safe, it's only change. I am safe, it's only change. Doors closing, doors opening, doors closing, doors I'm opening, I am safe, 
it's only change. I am safe, it's only change. Wow. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's a song you that just came to you. Uh, that's a song that I was I would I was growing up at listening to, and at different crossroads in my life, I would like when you're shifting houses or you're shifting uh, spaces. Uh, at that time, I would just keep doing that song because it's like you know, like you're really grieving, but you know that something nice is going to come, but you can't see it yet. <laughs> You're like in the middle of uh, all that uh, space. So I was like, okay, so things are going to close and things are not going to open. But yeah, be safe. <laughs> so safety was something I was seeking all throughout. And I feel like, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That song feels like such a gift. Yeah, of safety, right? In a way, like it. It feels like in those words and the tune, you can find safety. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> yeah, well, we're nearing the end. Um, if one more person like really felt called to share, otherwise I'd be interested in, maybe we could just speak briefly about um, any practices that any of us have to stay um, connected to our dream worlds. Does anyone have a practice that they use or that they're inspired to explore? Uh, Maria put in the chat just to meet, but I think she meant for everyone. Lucid dreaming. Laura, put your hand up. What was that? I don't know if Flora was putting her hand up. Ah, uh, Flora? Quisiera saber, Flora? Sí, sí me gustaría, pero no sé cómo hacerlo por la traducción. Ah, uh, one of us can. Alguien. Um, hello, I not speak, speak English. <laughs> um, ¿Pueden escribir de pronto o oh, no sé? Ya. Yeah. Um, bueno, yo primero quería compartir um, que soy una persona muy sensible y que se ha sanado y, y ha profundizado mucho en el mundo de los sueños, de los sueños tanto a nivel de la, del ingenio, de la creatividad, de la imaginación, como también de la visión y, y la sensibilidad. Eh, me pareció muy hermoso y me dio varias veces escalofríos el estar compartiendo con ustedes, porque sentí mucho... Bueno, sentía mucho el estar aquí desde el principio, pero no estaba segura por el tema del lenguaje. Y ahora que estaba transcurriendo la sesión, me daba cuenta el por qué. Y bueno, yo lo que vi también tenía que ver con una sensación de un sueño muy profundo de, de paz, de encontrar casa en las relaciones interpersonales que se van tejiendo y que también... De a poquito voy creando con esa puerta que, que abro. Eh, creo que para mí conectar con esta sensibilidad y poder tener como eh, la observación plena de mi mundo onírico y de también mi canalización, mi, mi, mi facilidad para ser puente entre el cielo y la tierra, tiene que ver también con los hábitos que, que he generado y en ese sentido esos hábitos eh, guardan relación también con la coherencia, la atención, la intención, la presencia, pero también con, con el poder estar completamente al servicio de mi bienestar para poder estar completamente al servicio del bienestar eh, al nivel de, de lo exterior. <coughs> eh, hago varias cosas en realidad, como desde lo que sería anotar mis sueños, tengo cuadernos de sueños y de sentires, entonces en el día 
voy anotando mis sueños y lo que voy sintiendo a través del día. También lo que hago es eh, meditar constantemente para callar la mente y para poder eh, discernir de dónde viene lo que estoy recibiendo y lo que estoy sintiendo. Eh, también cuando siento una sensación de demasiada angustia o me siento mal, lo que hago es ir al cuerpo y hacer algún movimiento, ya sea bailar, moverme o hacer yoga, chikung, lo que sea que pueda ayudarme a volver al centro. Eh, mi sueño tiene mucha relación con lo que estamos construyendo de alguna forma en Ecoversidades, porque tiene relación con crear relaciones que regeneren el espíritu y que genere un buen vivir ese es mi sueño más profundo de poder sentirme feliz así que estoy muy contenta de estar aquí y me quedó una sensación muy agradable en mi pecho, gracias mm, gracias por compartir muy bonita um, ya yeah. And thank you, Grace, so much for stepping in as improv translator. Um, <laughs> you did a beautiful job. Yeah, <laughs> really appreciate. Um, yeah, feeling a lot of care for you taking on that role. Um, okay, well, yeah, this has been just like really um, connective. I feel I feel a lot of like sweetness and and beauty coming through um in this space and just want to appreciate everyone for being open and vulnerable enough to to step into this exploration as a group and um i hope that your dreams continue to be an active part of your day world and what you're stewarding creating in your life so maybe we can keep sharing our dreams in, as the reimagining education connection community yeah and with that i think we'll close anyone else want to stephanie you want to any last words no just really grateful to you eileen for inviting me to be here with you and grateful to you all for for showing up and sharing your dreams it's a a vulnerable thing to share dreams and hearts and just so grateful to all of you and Arifa, I am taking that song with me. I'm really grateful for the gift of that song. And yeah, just leaving with gratitude and inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wanted to know how we can stay connected after the sessions. Maybe we need a dream work, like a dream space on the Mighty Networks. I don't know. What do you think, Eileen? <laughs> yeah, we could put... Um... Yeah, so there's Mighty Networks and then there's WhatsApp and they're pros and cons to both. Um, mm. but absolutely, we could either create a separate like WhatsApp thread or on the Mighty Networks start a dream space. So um, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely loop back. And mm. I mean, this is meant to be very co-creative. So if you have a energy for something like that, just start it. And I, I'm confident people will join and I will be there too. So. I'm looking forward <laughs> yeah absolutely. sharing dreams is a really potent medicine mm. so yeah would love to have more of that coming through mm -hmm. yeah is there any preference mighty networks or whatsapp does anyone have an immediate inclination whatsapp yes yeah whatsapp we could share like okay nicolas does not use whatsapp maybe we could do both i guess too Yeah. <laughs> there is something else about whatsapp you can leave voice messages you know yes. um, mm -hmm. maybe mighty networks i actually don't know um, but we could start both and just see we which could try both yeah there will be different people i'm sure in either so mm -hmm. some of us in both <laughs> yeah so um beautiful okay well um hope to see all of you around the conference more um still lots of good sessions today and then tomorrow um also tomorrow's the carnival so if you want to like share any 
streams or performances um, at the carnival. Maybe we haven't announced it too much this year, but it's a space that's meant to be like a ceremony co-created way of um, performing and sharing art and stuff. So that's a, an option you might be thinking about. 